Hey everybody, it's Valerie, Valerie Walls Fine Arts here with Daphne today um, for draw free drawing class at one o'clock down here in my studio in Orno, Maine. Um, What's the date? And the date is, oh, it's going to be a test because I didn't do it yesterday. It's not the 20, 20th. It's the 22nd. Okay, so it's, it's the 22nd and it's Wednesday? Yeah. I think so. Wednesday. Okay. So we're going to do this cute little terrier dog today. Um, you could probably just change up the colors and make it into, you know, a dog more like your dog if you want to. Um, you could always just make it, most of the time, even a hairy, fluffy dog has not a lot of hair fluffy all over their face. Mm. A lot of times, not all the time. It's um, not a husky, that's for sure. Um, and also the ears. What shape are the ears in this dog, Daphne? Triangles. Triangles. They're almost exactly little um, equilateral triangles. Um, does the dog have big eyes or little eyes? Big eyes. Pretty big eyes, yeah. Yeah, what about the nose? Is it big or little? It's pretty big. It is really big, okay? And part of it is this dog is look has the head tipped a little bit. It's begging. And that's accounting for the distance between the eyes and the nose. If you put the nose a little closer to the eyes, it just takes the face and lifts it up like this and they become closer together. Okay, so you'll see how that happens. But if you want to have him looking, you know, precious little beggy dog down sitting there while you eat your spaghetti, then you want to get this distance from the eyes to the nose spread out a little bit. Okay, because it is kind of, in this case, if I go like this, yeah, the top of the nose is about the same distance um, as the distance between the two eyes, okay? And like this is all about the same size. Okay, we're going to start with a line right here. All right, so get that up near the top of your page. Um, you know, you only have just a little bit of ear bump on there that you really have to think about. So let's get him up there. You can always have a little more chest if you need to. And we'll, oops, I'm going to use this um, yellow because we just realized that we're using up our gold. So I'm gonna use a ye bright yellow today. Pick something light that you can, um, you know, adjust a little bit if you need to, because you don't, you know, you're not probably gonna get every line just exactly where you want it the first time. Or maybe you will, who knows. So I'm gonna start up here, a line about that long, okay? And while I'm doing that, or while you're doing that, I'm gonna do um, one down here in uh, charcoal. And this one I'm gonna try this time to remember to make it smaller. <laughs> because I do the same proportions down here and then it's just like there's no room okay the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna make two little lines um, from how the ears pop up a little bit okay so you're gonna go up a little bit here and up a little bit here okay if you're a little more experienced a little more confident you can notice a little more of the contours of everything but I'm gonna go about it in the way that if you've never drawn a puppy before, today you're drawing a puppy and you're gonna be successful and you're gonna be super happy and proud of yourself. So that's what we're going with and you can do it, okay. All right, so we're here, we're gonna go out a little bit. Um, the length of this part of the ear is basically the same distance as whatever this line is, okay? So I'm gonna go out like that, okay? This line should be the same, oh, it's not, is that right? It's shorter. It's a little shorter. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That looks right, right? I can't see it very well. Okay. So it's kind of like that. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Up a little bit here. Up a little bit here. Out a little bit. Out a little bit. Okay. The distance from this part right here is about how far it goes down here. Okay. So um, I think we'll do the inside first. So you're going to bring a line that comes down like this, and then one like this. And these ears should be kind of like that, about the same, all the sides about the same size. This one goes out a little bit more. Okay, already, right? Already you've got cute little perky dog ears, puppy ears, right? It's so cute. This Very is what my cute. dog looks like, kind of. Yeah. Only she's black. She is. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's a got kind of a white nose. A little terrier. Yeah. yeah. Terrier, where terrier is your dog? mutt. Huh? I said, where is your dog? All, in your bed? All in my pillows, and I took my sweater, and I put it over her, <laughs> and then I wrapped it rakishly with, a, like, a scarf around her neck, so she's all tucked in. Cute. Because it's chilly here, and just, she's old. She needs to be wrapped up. <laughs> all right, 
Okay, so in here, and then like this, like this, and like this. All right? Okay. Now, if you feel good about the size of the ears, you can always make them bigger if you need to. If you need to, if they're, if they're way too big, maybe you just want big ears, but make them smaller, and when you color in the blue, just use a dark blue and just color over the lines, okay? Nobody, nobody is perfect. Nobody's gonna get it right the first time. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the eyes, and they are just a, you know, a little bit lower than the points on the ears, okay? So not way down here, like here, but not up here either, because then he has no forehead, and that means there's no brain in there, okay? So right around here, and I want you to make me a couple of big circles, because we can make them smaller um, by putting this black around there. They can get a little reduced, so um, better a little bit on the bigger side, maybe? So I'm going to make a couple, about quarter size for this, this size piece of paper. Are these about even? I can't ever tell from where I'm standing. Yeah, they look good. Pretty even? Yep, big puppy eyes. All right. All right, and then down here, same deal. You know, a little bit on the inside of where the ears are. Okay, unless he's a really fat-headed dog. This, is, this one's relatively narrow, okay? Um... All right, your, your, there's a relationship between your eyes and your nose, okay? Whether you're a dog or whether you're a person. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Nothing, don't ask. Okay. Um, or if you're a, ho a horse or... If you're a horse? If, <laughs> if you're a horse, if you're a seahorse, if you're... Um, what's another animal, like a mammal? Give me a name. Oh, the lion, that's another one. Is that... There's the width of the nose right here lines up, Liz, comes from right in the corners of the eyes, okay? So not just some random spot in the middle of its face. It's, it's connected here. Um, probably, you know, you have your... Oh, well, I won't go into it. Okay. Um, what I want to do is I want to draw in where I want my nose, okay? So what I figured was the distance from here to here is about the distance from the eye to the top of the nose. So I'm gonna measure from here to here, and then I'm gonna go like this, and that's gonna be the top of my nose, okay? And I want my nose, this, this ball is bigger than the eyes. So you want a spot here that's bigger than your eyes. Is mine bigger? Yeah. Okay, and don't worry too much about the shape, okay? It'll be fine. It, it is a little bit, what do you, oh, what's this one? Sick, 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 hep, sick, sick. Hexagram. Is that hexagram. six sides? I think it, sure. Yeah. Hexagram. It's the, you know, right? That's a one, pentagram, isn't it? Oh, maybe a hexagram. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit like that. So you could be here, you could go a little bit. Looks like, like a circle to Because me. what's happening is you're seeing, this is the top of the nose, and then this is where the nostrils are. Okay? But I wouldn't draw the nostrils and it will make it look like a pig. I know it shouldn't, but it does. <laughs> I've seen it a lot. Okay, so same thing here, measuring from here to here. Measuring from here to here. A little bit lower. Oh, oh wait, Ruby no, says right. hexagon. Yep. What did we say? You said hexagram. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, sorry. thanks for thanks, thanks, Ruby. So well educated, thanks to um, Orono schools, oh. Orono public schools. Taught Where'd Ruby. Where to go, Ace? Who's Adams? her? Who was her geometry teacher? Probably Mr. Libby. Okay. All right. So now the thing is, is that the outside part of his snow is a little bit you know, away from the, um, the nose. So you're going to maybe make a little mark. Can you see this? Um, kind of. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to go from the corner of the eye down to that mark. Okay. This is a long, mm. well, this is quite a distance, isn't it? I think it looks good. But it's okay. Looks it doesn't like matter. It, it has a lot, you know, it's, the coloring and the shape of the ears is going to be what make what is going what makes it look like one kind of dog or another. Not really the distance from the nose to the and the size of the nose and stuff. Okay. 
Um, we're going to use this one. Oh, I wish I knew the artist that paints these dogs. I was going to try to find it again, but she makes, I think it's a woman, and she makes all kinds of great animal pictures. They're just so good, and I'll, I'll have to figure out who it is. Um, I didn't do it. And, uh, and of course, it's a little better. I kind of smoothed it out to make it a little easier for everybody. Um, from here to here is very, very close. Oh, I know what I was going to say is that we're probably accented a little bit with, you know, either a dark, dark brown or a black or something at the end to have it have this little, um, oh, I don't know. It, it's not, it's a little, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but the black changes things a little bit. Okay. So what you do is go right below here and you're very, very close to the nose and you want to round this out to here. I might cheat that in a little bit later. Oops, I'm coming apart. There. All right. Okay, so kind of like that. Very, very close. And then it has a little teensy-weensy bit of chin, okay? Very, very little. If you do a lot, you'll have this funny dog with a big chin. And, and there's no such thing. I don't think. It really isn't. Okay? So don't do that. Very close here. Am I a little wonky on this guy? I guess so, right? Yeah. I'm gonna bring that over, bring this. All right, that's okay. Doesn't matter. It's all for fun. Okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is see how his face is pretty narrow. It, it's it's going to come from right where his ear is and then it hits the snout at the top of his nose. So not down, you know, not um, not down here, but like right here. If you need to, make a little mark. So you're like, okay, that's where I'm going. Okay, and you're going to round from his ear right like that. And hopefully these are about the same size. Okay? It's almost done. Mm. All right. Okay, now I want you to see... How am I going? Am I going too fast? No, I think it's good. Is, am I okay, Ruby? She's not going to answer. Not answering? She'll answer. She will. Yeah. I know. I can count on it. Okay, the back, the neck. You think the neck, you know, here is his neck down here, but it's not, okay? Um, dogs don't have much of a neck. The only one I think is... I mean, they have something, like a Great Dane has a little more neck to it, and maybe that Afghan hound, but most of the time it's pretty short. Cats have no neck, though. All right, this spot right here is, is you know, kind of halfway between the nose and the eyes. So it's up here, and you just bring that off to the side, okay? And down here, um, you know, just from kind of the side of his snout, all right? You bring this line and kind of curve out a little bit. Okay, you got it? Isn't that cute? Very cute. It's very cute right now, and it looks like a zombie dog because it has no eyeballs. So if it looks good now, it's only going to look better. Yep. Speaking of that, let's do the eyes. Not all of it. Let's not do the black part yet, but let's do the um, um, just the inside parts of the eyes. So if you just try to keep in mind that you'd like to leave a little tiny bit of white behind on both of the eyes, and um, the one thing you want is that wherever you put it, put it in the same place on both eyes, right? So if you put it at the top left side on, on one eye, do the top left side on the other. Don't do them in opposite because it will make it feel like the, I can't do it. I mean like wall-eyed or cross-eyed, okay? So just get them on the same place. And if they're a little bit up, I think in this case, it might make him l be looking up a little bit. Okay, they're on the top on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color for my eyeball, the color of the eye a little bit. And I'm going to do kind of a little, I'm just going to use the gold, a gold on this. Um, just a little sliver of gold down here on the bottom. Okay, and if you put the color of the eye on the bottom and the pupil on the top, whether you're drawing a person or an animal, it's, it's going to make them looking up a little bit which is kind of how you're looking when you're on the floor begging, right? Okay, and I will take, I guess I will use the black on this. Well, oh, that's not black. Um, all right. And, and 
you want to kind of double check to see that your eyes are pretty even and that they're pretty much the same size, okay? Or you'll look afterwards and be bummed, okay? So if I draw in, uh, maybe even not the whole circle, kind of like, um, a, like the little bit of the top is covered by the, I guess it's not going to work like that anyway. I'll do it later with the, okay, so if I can leave a little, space at the top, I can always make it smaller, so leave it big, and then you can always, you know, chop it down a little bit as you go around. That will give them, now I won't have a zombie dog anymore. All right. And most dogs, well, I guess I wouldn't say most, but a lot of dogs, you never see the whites of their eye. There's a few that do, and they're decidedly have a different look to them. My dogs always have, I love a good pit bull mutt, nice terrier, and they almost always, you never see the white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so down here what I'm going to do with, with the dark is that I'm just going to do the black part, and I'm just going to smudge it into the other part. Do they look even to you? I can't tell. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. So once, when I've smudged it, now what I need to do, do is go back and sharpen this black up a little bit so there's a difference between the two things, okay? All right, I don't want to do the nose, um, well, yeah, I guess I can because I wouldn't do the nose if the gold touches the nose because then it will kind of blur, you know, smudge the, when I color the yellow part in, we'll smudge a little bit with the black, but since they don't touch, we'll just go ahead and do it. Okay, so if you're, th again, if you want to think a little bit about the shape, it's a little bit like a, a shorter line here. I have to get it over my yellow, though, just because otherwise I'm going to have yellow marks on there. It's kind of like this. Okay, and then there's a piece kind of like that. That's sort of what it looks like. But you can just draw a big ball, too, if you need to. We all know what it is. I mean, what else is it going to be? Brownie mix on the tip of his face. Oops. <laughs> if you can, and the nose too, if you want to leave a little tiny bit of white behind. Make it look wet. It'll make it look a little shiny. So I might do a little here. So if you like the videos and you want to see some other ones, you can go to free drawing classes with Valor Walls Fine Arts on um, YouTube, and there's a list of, I think, more than 30 now. So yeah. you ought to be able to find something that has some appeal, hopefully. If, you don't, if there's something you're dying to do and you um, would like a little, maybe some thought hints on it, just send me a message and I might be able to help you out. Okay? I'm going to leave the mouth for now. So let, the next thing I want to do is um, to, to look a little bit about where the shading is on the dog. Okay? So it's a little bit different colors. It's a little bit darker, a little bit redder on this side, a little bit lighter and ye yellow or whiter on this side. So we want to have a little bit of change to that. And if you don't have two colors, um, then don't worry about it. If you have one brownish color, but just by adding a little yellow to one um, side of the one, if you paint the whole thing brown and you add um, yellow to one side, that'll work too. I'm going to use this um, reddish brown we call Sienna. At least I call it Sienna. I could be wrong. Sometimes I think about later some of the things that I've said and I'll be like, oh, that's not true. <laughs> So here, too, if I want to look at this ear a little bit differently, I could bring this up and then give it a little divot there, okay? Um, I could bump this out a little bit so we can come in there and have a little different shape, okay? Um, and we'll just go like that, and I'm just going to color this in. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's Earth Day when I wasn't thinking. We could have done some kind of plant or something, but oh well. You can do that yourself because you're going to be all, um, what do you call it? Inspired. Warmed up and inspired and feeling confident. So I'm going to put a little here. There's a little kind of triangle right here. I'm gonna, I want to leave this, I want to get a nice dark color. That helps to lift the ear off the head. So I'm going to leave a little sliver in there. I can always come back and add more of the reddish brown if I need to. And bring that around the side of his face. The hard thing with the pastels is getting, depending on the quality, depending on the kind of paper you have, is having them not get just too thick and where there's just like chunks of stuff left behind. It doesn't really look great. Um, he also has a little on his on his um, neck. So I'm gonna bring a little bit like that. If you have really great oil pastels, you probably don't have that problem, but. Um, these are Van Gogh, which I think are pretty nice for the price, but you can also get a pack of Pentel. That's what I use a lot for my classes. And the color is great. They're skinnier, like a like um, a um, crayon, and um, they're cheap. I mean, they might be two fifty a box, but if you get a box, get two because some of them you'll go buy go through really fast. Okay, he has a little shady spot kind of in the middle of his forehead, so you can put a little of that on there. And um, I think if I squint my eyes at my picture, I can kind of see look here and then look here and see if the darks and the lights kind of match up. So that, that'll be good for that, I think, for the most part. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to take the yellow over here. So um, if I take, go from this spot and I bring a yellow that comes down and comes down to a little bit more of a point, I can get this light color right here and then I'm going to leave a have a little spot to do the dark inside there and this actually bumps up even higher than the rest of the ear kind of like that all right and, it, and then the ear has a little more roundness to it over here so, so you can see you can start it out with just the simple shapes and then especially if they're a little bit on the smaller side you just kind of after you've planned everything out, then you adjust things as you go along and, um, you know, the more time you put in, the more you can adjust things. Oh, sorry to fell through the eye. Okay, so I'll go right over this. Maybe I'll go over this brownish a little bit. I like dogs. What do you like better, Dad? Oh yeah, you wait a minute. You're sort of allergic to cats, so I'm guessing that's not your favorite. No. Well, I do like cats, but I gotta say I like a dog more. Don't forget that there's the white comes up onto the nose a little bit here, so hopefully you haven't gotten too far ahead of me. Okay, so we wanna leave a little white spot like that. And the white becomes more important the more we color in. Okay, so Yeah, I like, I always, I'm on my, um, personally, I'm on my fourth dog. <laughs> but she's getting up there, she's 11, so. This would be a great time to have a puppy though, wouldn't it? Because you're home? Yeah, well I'm home all the time anyway, so yeah. I don't think it really matters. No. But it's going to be tricky if you get a dog and then you do have to be gone to back to your normal life. Yeah. yeah. But it's a good time to train a puppy and things like that. The dogs love the quarantine life. Yeah. Oh, so much love. All right, T. All right. So if you get this on here, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to color whatever you're going to do in the background. And, and so obviously, you know, coloring the background yellow doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, you think a little bit about, um, you know, what, what's an opposite, the opposite of orange is blue. So that's why this kind of orangey yellow, reddish orange, um, looks great with this blue background. 
You could do more than one color. You could do rainbow back there. You could do whatever you want to. You can skip it all together. But I, I like completing the whole thing by getting the backgrounds done because every color looks a little different depending on what it's up against. And so, you know, everything looks one way against white, but it looks a little differently against the color. So try to do that. And then you have a little more respect for your picture because you've put in that time. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to look a little, it gets to this point where everything's a little loose and a little undefined. And about that point is when we start doing the things that pull it all together, all the best stuff. So if you don't lose heart, okay? Because mine, my color one for sure looks like ridiculous. Don't you think? At this point right now, this is when everything changes though. It starts to change. Okay, like this one is kind of shows you how it's the nose cute. starts to stick out, right? Yeah. I'm going to smudge this a little bit down here underneath. Maybe over here, too. Okay, because my light in my picture is coming from over this way. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put a little blue in the back. You can get caught up if you're not here. This would be the time. Oops. And... Um, I like both of these blues, but I, I want to bring in this little teensy weensy triangle right in there. That's kind of a neat thing to help separate that ear from the head, make it all more floppy. springy, yeah. floppy. Yeah, floppy little ears. Super cute ears. The ears are so expressive on the dog. Yeah. What if we could do that? And see if it wasn't, you know. What do they say about the eyes? The eyes are the window to the soul. What if a person's <laughs> window were? to their soul was their ears? Human ears are kind of weird looking. They're very weird Not looking. as cute as a dog. We're used ear. to them, so we're like, yeah, that's what an ear looks like. Yeah, whatever. Looks cool. But it really doesn't. It's very strange. It's like, um, I don't know, just weird. Yeah, pretty weird. But I'm glad I've got them. Me too. Oh, yeah. This morning, I woke up, and even with the window shut, I could hear the birds. I'm not a morning person, so I had no interest in getting up and greeting the day with the birds. But I, it, was, it is sort of an amazing thing to hear, to hear them out there and how they do that every day. Well, I guess not. This is, I notice it now because it's new, because they haven't been back from wherever they went for the winter for very long. All right. I'm going to use a little different blue here, too. Okay. you would like to leave a donation, it's perfectly wonderful for you to watch the shows and share the shows with your family or your friends or your school or your job, whatever. I mean, I work with, um, you know, little kids, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, right on up through seniors. I've had people in my classes over a hundred years old. Wow. And, yeah, really. Yeah. And um, it's all kind of the same thing. The only thing is, um, usually, usually the kids are just way faster, so they wouldn't need, I, I go kind of at that pace so that they won't get bored and stop, but if you're older, then you could watch them on um, YouTube, or just if you're a little bit, want to go at a different pace, watch them on YouTube after I do it, and you can, want, you can stop it and watch it as, many, as slowly as you'd like to. No reason to rush. All right. We're ready to just finalize this guy up. I think right? so. Right? I'm just going to not bother with down here. Looks fine the way that yeah. it is. 
Okay? All right, so I want to take something darker, and I'm going to hit some of the, the really dark areas. And I think I'm going to go with the super dark brown that I have. Good idea. Rather than a black, just because, you know, everything that you think is black is not necessarily as dark as you think it is. And, um, uh, I don't know. It's just been my, what I learned was not always to use black, so that's what I'm not, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with these little groovy little, um, shadows that are underneath the ear, okay? It doesn't go to the tip. It stops, like, right in here. But if I bring this and I make this shape in here, you might not notice it right up close, but when you hold it up or stick it to your fridge and then you go sit down and have, you know, lunch, when you look at it, you'll be like, oh, look at that. That really makes the ear pop off the head a little bit. So get that nice dark piece in there. Go right to the colors. Don't leave little white lines. That kind of defeats the illusion, okay? Um, he has a lot of dark around his eyes. And rather than just go in a circle around there, there's a little bit of shaping to it. Part of it is coming from the nose. So he's got a little, you know, reinforcement of that, you know, maybe a little shadow where the nose hits the eye. And then there's a little... How do I do it? Oh. I can't remember. Um, it leans a little bit over the inside part of the eye, like that. Okay? And then take it and round it down. See how he's got a little piece that kind of sticks out here? If you go around like that, and you bring that out a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, last, um, I guess it was last fall. I guess it was in this, in, and I don't, I want to remember that I've got a little it bit was of. In this, are you talking about when you drew all the dogs? Yeah, when was that? It was August? in the summer. Was it? Yep. It was called. Because I was home. But it, but it was in probably later. Pause on in the summer. It wasn't pause on parade. It was. Um, do, pause for pint, pause and pints? No, it wasn't no. pints and paws. Oh. Um. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't, it's almost in my head, I can't think of what it is. But anyway, um, it was to raise Colors money. Collars for dollars? <laughs> I don't know. Raise was. money for... The Humane Society? I don't even remember anymore what it was for. I want to say, no, I want to say it was something else. Well, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good that story. I can't remember the woman's name or what, the, what it was called or what they were raising money for. <laughs> but... It was super cute. It was at um, Bass Park one beautiful, beautiful evening. Yeah, it was nice. And they do it every year. And I will have it on my page when I, if I, if I go back, or even if I don't, I will still post it. And um, there were all these people with their dogs, and they, I drew pictures for a donation. Um, of all the dogs, like caricatures of the dogs and sometimes with their owners and stuff. It was super fun. It was very fun. My th thing a little, a little longer. So, so like I said, because it's the style, there's a little outline on things. So I'm going to kind of outline them. And that'll help show this difference here. But I did practice drawing a lot of different kinds of dogs, which I thought was kind of something that maybe would like to do more dogs. Everybody wants to draw their dog or their cat because we love them. I think um, I'll do a cat. I, I don't think I've done a house cat, right? No. Yeah, maybe a black one to show people how to draw black cats because it's, people think you can't do it, but you can. Okay, I'm going to do this line here too. Draw Achilles and Noodle. I know. I have... Two black cats. Two black grand, grand cats. Yeah. All right, a little, maybe a little extra brown over here. Maybe a little here. Noodle What's would be good to draw because he's got big eyes. Oh, he does. He's a cutie, cutie, cutie. I wish I could do um, um, Achilles' little underbite. I know. It's precious. Oh, it has this little black coming up the middle from the nose. Don't we do that like that? How's that look, Daphne? Looks Did good. I forget anything? Mm, so down here so. with this guy, 
Um, you know, what I would what I would want to do is reinforce these eyes a little bit. You know, you want to go back, anything that has eyes, nose, and mouth, uh, you know, check at the end of your picture and make sure they're defined because it's really not about, you know, the nostrils. Don't get all lost and stuff like that. It's probably about the eyes before the nose, right? right. And a lot of times when I'm having classes with people who work on faces, they just keep drawing the same part of the face that they feel comfortable with and they avoid the other part for a really long time. So if you do that, you're not alone. And I have to say, well, what are we drawing? Why are we, what is the whole point of this? Is it to do the background or the hair? Well, no. But. Okay. So I will be back here tomorrow and at one o'clock and thank you for watching with me today. Tomorrow we're going to do Viking. Yeah. Another sort of cartoony stuff and just like Whoops. like when we did the um uh, the queen, you know, just something with an expression that's going to be fun and obviously everybody will know what it is because of the hat which I guess is not really what they wore anyway. Um and uh, I guess that's great. And I will show you the, um, get up close so you can fine tune your drawings. Hey, Arlene. Oh, Halsey, I miss you. Oh, Lydia's drawing in. Stephanie. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God, Dana. Marianne. Oh, good. Hey, Marianne. Hey, Gina. Hey, Mom. Hey, what's Matias doing? I thought he had homework or something. Yeah. Okay, see us tomorrow for this great guy. There he is. Have a great day. Thank you so much.